part 13 uh having some issues with getting this thing apart so um took these bolts out a long time ago so you got that big great big uh, nail bearing in there <sighs> issues um in the last video, part 12, um, the video got cut off. I accidentally hit a button. I'm gonna turn that thing upside down. I'm gonna see if I can get a grinder inside of it. Uh, I'm gonna move my tools. I'm gonna flip it over this way. Pretty sure I won't be able to get a grinder into it, but it's probably worth a try. I'm not gonna run it right now and uh, take this big wheel. I'm just gonna fit it in here and see if I can. No, that ain't working. I can't uh, do that. no go I'm wondering if I could just have to just bust this block which will be extremely freaking hard to do because well it's thick cast iron a little bit thinner than that on the on this side but it's cast iron it they don't want like to break I see some bolts in here too Noticed that quite a while back ago. I don't know if that's going to be an issue or not. Probably. I wonder if I could just bust that crank right out of there. Just take my come along and pick it up right there. But my come along's on my tractor holding that thing up. So. Uh, let's see here. I do need to take this off of it, this gear off of it somehow. And it runs through this rod. I have no idea what it is. It doesn't even go to anything. I don't know if it's just an idler, pull, uh, an idler, or what? It might be an idler. There's a gear here, a gear here, and a gear here. So, yeah, that was probably just something for it to ride on. Uh, let's see. Have anything I could destroy it with? Just take a jackhammer and go right into the side of the block. That would be an option, but I ain't got a jackhammer. I need a sawzall is what I need. I could uh, come in here at the, let me turn this back around and I'll show you. Get a little saws on and cut there and there and go down there and cut there and there same thing on that just there and there and i can just pull the head right off but i ain't got a sawzall so uh-uh and i definitely cannot get a freaking grinder in that so, uh, i'm not sure what one did May have to just let it. Maybe have to just pull the other, this other head off. I think that's what I'll do. I'll try to pull that head off. Probably have to destroy it. I'm pretty sure. 
because them bolts are stripped. So that's probably not gonna work. So I probably won't, shouldn't even try it, but probably just let that side get in the rain, water, snow, and everything else. Just let it finish rotting off. Hmm. Dad gum. It's, uh, it kind of sucks. It sucks when you can't do anything with anything. Let me try this here. Head gun. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. I may just haul it off like that if I do haul it off. I don't know. Do not know. This thing is junk. That thing is junk. Just because that's an aluminum block. That block's all screwed up. It's a cast iron block and it's all rusted. I think it'd probably be a piece of crap anyway, if, even if it was running because it's aluminum block. That one on the other hand probably be a pretty good engine. It's got several thousand hours on it. So. I may knock off for now on this engine here. I'm not sure. Probably so. I tore the oil pump apart. I may tear the others apart too. This thing. Actually, I'll just use it by, do it by hand. So, yeah. Um, I may not, I don't know what I'm going to do right now, uh, with this thing. See, come on, it's holding that up. This is what I robbed off of it, that's what I was talking about, tearing apart. May do that some other day when it's cold and snowy out. I think that's what we'll do. Went until it gets cold and snowy out to tear that apart. So, I'm gonna get off of here, um, figure out what I'm gonna do. So, uh, see you in the next video.